This is the Archer home. And this is the evening hour. The day's work is over. It's a time for peace and quiet, relaxation and ease. Shall we go in? inviting people over this evening. It would have been nice if you'd given me a little more notice. Well, why, dear? Nothing needs to be done. The house looks lovely. <laughs> Samson, the plumber. Oh, yes, those leaky pipes. We'll go right through the house. The entrance to the basement is in the hall closet. Mulligan stew, right? Uh, would you take a small piece of advice? Well, certainly. Needs more tomatoes. <laughs> oh, I'll, uh... Probably have to shut the water on and off, so don't worry if you're without any water for a little while. All right. But I hope you're through by noon. This is the first Saturday afternoon my husband has had off in weeks, and he'll probably want to water the lawn. I know what I'm talking about, Mrs. Archer. I was raised on this stuff. Put in another tomato. Nothing. Nothing at all. Sure you don't want to tell me about it? There's nothing to tell, Mom. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. You know something I've discovered, Corliss? What, Mom? That when a person has something on his mind, the best thing he can do is to bring it right out in the open. You really think so? I'm sure of it. That's the way good relationships are built. On openness and honesty. Any relationship. Between mother and daughter, or two friends, or husband and wife. Whenever anyone has anything on their mind or a complaint to make, they should come right out with it. Maybe you're right. I think so. Sure. I guess you are right. Even if a girl is your best friend, you should tell her about her faults. That's right. Sure. Of course, you may never speak to each other again, but you'll be better friends. <laughs> well, that isn't exactly what I meant. Anyway, I'm absolutely furious with Mildred. You should have seen the dress she was wearing to Betty's party last night. She looked positively atrocious in it. Never seen anybody in anything more unbecoming. She should never have worn it, and I'm absolutely furious with her. But why, Corliss? Because it was the exact duplicate of the dress I was wearing. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll talk to her about it. Making stew for dinner? Mm-hmm. It's delicious. I think it needs a little more tomato. Carlos, hey, Carlos, are you home? Yes, Dexter. Did you get the record? Sure. Wait till you hear it. It's oh, super. Good. Hello, Dexter. Hi, Miss Archer. <laughs> Right, it does need another tomato. I knew it, my very favorite, homemade tomato soup. 
Needs a little more tomato, though. I thought we were dancing. Oh, sure, come on. Wallace? Wallace, what's the matter? Won't you please tell me what's wrong? Well, all right, Dexter. Yes, I will tell you what's wrong. Mom says when you've got something on your mind, you should say it. I don't have anything on my mind. Well, I have. You've got something on my mind? Dexter, I'm trying to improve our relationship. Now listen, I don't like the way you've been treating me lately. You've been taking me for granted. You don't do any of the sweet little things you used to do. You treat me with callous disregard. Well, holy cow, Corliss, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to treat you for granted. And I'm sorry about the sweet little things I used to do. And believe me, I wouldn't disregard your calluses. <laughs> well, what I mean to say is, well, I'm crazy about you, Corliss. And if you want me to change, I will. Really, Dex? Sure. See, our relationship's better already. Mom was right. If you have any criticism of me, I want you to say it. Oh, Corliss, you're perfect. Oh, Dexter, <laughs> nobody's perfect. Well, you are. Oh, I am not. There must be one teensy-weensy little thing I do wrong, and I want you to tell me about it. Now, think hard. Well, once in a great while, you're a teeny, bitty little bit unreasonable. Oh, well, if that's the way you feel about me, all I can say is goodbye. Oh, simply, Corliss. Corliss, Corliss, wait a minute. I... Where'd everybody go? Dexter, what's wrong? May I come in, please? <laughs> Thank you. Things are going to be very different for Dexter with Corliss angry at him. When things are lovey-dovey, he's half out of this world with a silly smile on his face, hardly knowing what's going on. Hmm, I guess things aren't going to be different. Corliss just told me that she's never going to speak to Dexter again as long as they both shall live. Maybe I shouldn't have given her that advice this morning. Nonsense, it was excellent advice. Still needs a little more tomato. Anything around here for a snack? Sure. Do you think two people should discuss their shortcomings openly? Well, if they're intelligent enough. The ability to accept criticism is a vital factor in any good relationship. Have you got a knife? Now, <laughs> uh, for two people to please each other, they... Each one must find what quality displeases the other and then correct it. You know, some jelly would go good with this. <laughs> well, that's, that's the basis for a partnership. And any good relationship is a partnership. Uh, you know, share and share alike. Each helping the other. You got the opener? Well, now you take us. I think we've got a pretty good marriage. And why? Because neither one tries to take advantage of the other. No one tries to be boss, doesn't try to tell the other what to do. Uh, get some cheese? <laughs> well, now, on a basis like that, we, we, we respect each other, we respect each other's opinions, and we can be frank in criticism. Janet, do you know something? I can't find anything about my wife to criticize. And now if I can have something to drink, I'll be all set. <laughs> now, I've given you my frank opinion. It's your turn. Well, I think my husband is the most wonderful guy in the world. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no. Well, Janet, you're going to say something. Well, it's just that... Well, it seems that lately you've had a tendency to sort of forget the little things, the sweet things. The... 
Oh, you know. I see. Well, it's just that you've started taking me for granted, I guess. Oh, oh Harry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Well, hurt my feelings. <laughs> Don't be silly. Don't you think I have enough intelligence to be able to accept a little honest criticism? It hurt me. What? <laughs> that, that, that's silly. Well, <laughs> aren't you going to eat? Oh, well, no thanks. I'm not hungry. <laughs> All right, Harry. She's suffered long enough. How long have you two been going together? Oh, about ten years. She's suffered long enough. <laughs> Maybe I better go in and see her. You know, Mr. Archer, Carlos and I haven't even talked to each other for a whole hour and a half. Oh. You know, I know she's miserable in there, and I, I know she wants to apologize to me, because she knows she's wrong. So, I'm going to make it easy for her. How? By apologizing to her. Wait a minute, Dexter. Yeah, but Mr. Archer, Corliss is in there getting unhappier and, un and un unhappier. I understand all that. Well, she's very high strung. She might do something desperate. Something we both might regret as long as we live. Something like getting a date with another fella. Listen, Dexter. Watch out, Mr. Archer! <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it, Mr. Archer. Oh, I may, Dexter. I may. Yeah. What were you going to say before? <laughs> oh, about apologizing to Corliss for something that she did wrong. Now, there's an element of human relationship here. Oh, don't talk to me about relationships, Mr. Archer. It was Mrs. Archer's theory about relationships that got me into all this trouble. Yes, I know. Well, I'm surprised at Mrs. Archer. I always thought she was so smart. My wife is a very bright woman. And you agree with what she said? Yes, but there's another principle involved here. That is that since the dawn of time, there's been domination by the stronger sex. You mean women? I mean men. Any competent psychologist will tell you that when a woman dominates a man, she is very unhappy. No kidding. No kidding. Why, my mother must be miserable. <laughs> Look, Dexter. Mrs. Archer and I just had a little, well, call it a misunderstanding. Nothing serious, of course. But the point is you don't see me running in there to apologize. Well, maybe you're right. No, okay, I'll, I'll just let Corliss wait. Even though I know she's unhappy and lonesome and, and miserable and... Wasn't that a funny story? I never heard anything so funny. <laughs> just wait till they find out how miserable they are. <laughs> well, it looks like war between the men and the women. And I think that's a shame. I believe that a man and a woman can go through their whole lives with no arguments. That is, of course, unless they know each other. Mr. Archer, when are we going to go home? We've been bowling here for hours. Dexter, I've been through this before. It's not time yet. Why don't you have another bottle of soft drink? I think I'd better not, Mr. Archer. But when are we going home? Well... All in good time, Dexter. Holy cow, doesn't this affect you at all? Not a bit. I'm not an emotional man. And I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> For a minute, I thought you were going to throw in the towel. <laughs> I'm not going to throw in the towel, Dexter. Now, let's forget about the women and concentrate on bowling. I'll bet you they knew we were on the porch all the time. I'll bet they did, too. Now, let's not talk about it anymore. All I want to do is boom. I just as soon forget about the whole thing and go home. Dexter, that's a defeatist attitude. I'm surprised at you. 
I'm not. I knew all along I was going to give in. Now, take your turn. It'll get your mind off your troubles. Well, it's okay. Which ball have I been using? Uh, this one. Put some powder in the hole so it won't slip. Oh, Dexter, that's too much powder. You better get some of it out of it. Oh, Mr. Archer, I, I really am sorry. I... Take your turn. Yes, sir. Oh! <laughs> Come, Mr. Archer, I'm sorry, but I'm so tired. Can't we just go home? Bull. you hold out. Well, well, Mr. Archer, I was thinking about what you said about the dominations of the sexes, but, but, but women are the only opposite sex we got, and Carlos is the only girlfriend I got, and if I lose her, where am I going to get another one? Because, well, I... You... Call the Coast Guard. There's a submarine loose in your backyard. Janet. Yes, dear? Candy and flowers. Oh, Harry, how sweet. They're carrying on in every room. Mr. Samson, this is my husband, Mr. Archer. How do you do? Well, haven't I seen your face someplace before? Could be. It's a small world. I do appreciate these, Harry. Well, I just happened to pick them up. You can say that again. <laughs> you know, I'm positive I've seen your face before. Well, I got one of those kind of faces you think you see at every window. <laughs> oh, well, here. Uh, have a piece of candy. Would you like to know how this happened? Yes, I imagine it would be interesting. Yes. Yes? Uh, What's the trouble? I'm trying to think of something. Huh? I, I was trying to think of something to give you a laugh. You know. that, that was it, a laugh. That's why I got the, the flowers and the candy. <laughs> well, what I was getting at was that uh, tonight you and I are going out on the town. We are? Mm -hmm. Janet, I thought perhaps you're right, that I, I have been neglecting the little things and maybe I've been taking it too much for granted. So tonight, we're going to the Martinique. Oh, Harry, how nice. Carlos, you'll never guess where your father is taking me tonight. The Martinique. Oh, golly, Mom, that's wonderful. <laughs> Hey, where did you get that? Uh, yes, we're going to the Martinique and we're going to have a wonderful time. Yeah, but what about the... And I think we should all have a wonderful time. And it would be nice if Corliss and Dexter came with us. Oh, Daddy. Isn't that wonderful, Dex? Yeah, but what about the... <laughs> I'm sure that you want to go to the Martinique, don't you? Well, then there isn't really anything more to say, is there? Well, as the monkey said when he backed into the electric fan, that was a close shave. But everything came out all right in the end. You men, sir. Thank you. Madame. Madame. 
Miss you. I'll be back with your orders later. Mm, fried chicken. 7.50. Lamb chops. 10.75. Filet mignon. Wow! We came here to have fun, not worry about prices. Wow! <laughs> now, so now, but everyone order just exactly what they want. Uh, after all, have you decided on your order? Don't worry about the prices. Just order what you want. Well, uh, I'll have shrimp cocktail. Salad. Ice cream. And I'll have the same. Me too. Only instead of fried chicken, I'll have filet mignon. <laughs> and what will you have, sir? Uh, no sale. <laughs> I mean, uh, a glass of water. <laughs> Mrs. Archer, would you care to, uh... Oh, well... Oh, go ahead, Mom. Come on. Come on. Shall we dance? Thank you. My goodness, Harry, you and I haven't danced together for ever so long. This should be fun. <laughs> well, I'm still pretty light on my feet, aren't I? Harry, hmm? these are my feet you're dancing on. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, please, Maris. You can't dance now. Well, why not? The floor show is going on. Yeah, but we came here to dance and we're going to dance. Come on, Carla, let's dance. I'm afraid I don't have to ask you to leave. You are creating a disturbance. Okay, then we'll leave. Right, Mr. Archer? Yeah, right. Right. We'll leave. Come along, Janet. <laughs> As Mr. Archer now realizes, when you step into a nightclub, you can get in pretty deep. The poet was right when he said, nightclubs are a place to frolic, but they cause financial colic. <laughs> well... Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, uh... Good night. Good night. Dexter, what's the trouble? Well... Harry. What? But... Come on, Harry. Oh. Good night, Dexter. Good night. Carlos, how about a... You know. <laughs> Good night, kiss. Yeah. Well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dexter. Hmm? You're supposed to close your eyes when you kiss a girl goodnight. Oh, not me. Why not? I want to see how much fun I'm having. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'm really hungry now. It's almost ready. Janet. Yes, dear? About tonight, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it wasn't more fun. Now, now, I had a good time. And the important thing is, you made the gesture. <laughs> Holy cow, they still smooch. <laughs> Anyone for steel? Me. Boy, me too. Come in. And me. I can't go home until I see if it has enough tomatoes. I hope you don't mind. I asked Don Blanchard over for dinner. Uh, perfectly all right. Well, 
Things are back to normal. Yes, things are back to normal. And you know something? Hmm. It's wonderful. Thank <laughs> you.